Hey guys, it's Kyle with Rhino. I wanna show you how to properly set up the Rhino Rest on your shoulder and how to care for it as you use it. Now, before you get this set up, you wanna make sure that all the screws are loosened considerably because you don't want the teeth and the rosettes of each of the parts to grind as you fit it up on your shoulder. Now, the second part is that this piece here, this basically attains your 15 degree cant of the, the Rhino Rest on your shoulder. And so to get that 15 degrees, you're gonna want this piece vertical or near vertical. If you have it flat, all it's gonna do is flare out to the side. So I'm gonna have Joe come on in. He's gonna help me fit this to my shoulder. Now this is the recommended way we do it. Um, you can do this without a friend, but honestly to get the best custom fitting Rhino Rest, it's easy to have somebody else tighten it up on your shoulder as you're, you're figuring out what shot you want. So I'm setting up the rig right now as if I'm gonna be looking through my viewfinder. So I have my camera right in front of my face. Joe is gonna start tightening up all the individual links to fit my shoulder. So that's, that's one really cool thing about the Rhino Rest and the Rhino Rig is it's meant to customize to your body and to what shooting style you're doing. All right, so he's gonna go through and, and kind of tighten up loosely and then go through and really reef on all of them and make sure they're, they're really securely tightened. Should be good. All right, perfect. And one great thing about the rest is that you can see there's actually one link on the back that if I have a pretty heavy camera setup, I can actually shift some of the weight off my hands and actually put pressure on my shoulder. So if you just put your hands forward, you'll actually get pressure from that back link onto your shoulder. Um, and it's really comfortable, honestly. Uh, one other tip, uh, we've mentioned it in the case video, but these, these pads are all made out of TPR. So a soft kind of rubber. It's meant to disperse the weight equally along your shoulder. Um, but you just wanna care for these things. Another really helpful tool is the counterweight, designed specifically for the Rhino Rest. It's five pounds, it's really nice to use when you have a heavier camera and you need to counterbalance the weight off your hands and back onto your shoulder. It also has a three stud and V-mount bolt pattern, so you can bolt on an optional battery if you have an Anton Bauer or a gold mount to provide power to your camera and actually more weight back, moving the weight from your hands to your shoulder again. So it's really easy to mount. You take the included screw, push it through the hole on the back link of the Rhino Rest and tighten it up. I'll put the whole system on my shoulder and immediately there's hardly any weight on my hands. It's almost all on my shoulder and all those links are gonna be equally dispersing the weight of the system. So it's really comfortable for all day shooting. If you guys have any questions about the Rana Rest, the Counterweight, or the Rana Rig, please visit our website or email support at rhinocg.com. Thanks for watching.